<laughs> if you're wondering why my cheek is red, you'll have to ask the cameraman. Ah, I think I made a response that costed me something. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> it has nothing to do with what we're talking about now. To now, we are talking about timeout ribbons. And don't forget that timeout is short for timeout from positive reinforcement. Okay, so um, if you're in a particular setting and you can't really disrupt the things that are going on around you, maybe a classroom setting, maybe a training setting in some other situations, who knows what their setting is, but you don't want to cause a lot of disruptions um, and you want to be inclusive. You don't want to be able to take this person, the kiddo, the dog, whatever it is, and remove them from the environment altogether. You could do something like that. You could throw that thing on their hand when they have engaged in an inappropriate behavior and you don't have to snap them like that, but you could just put it on and simply indicates that they are no longer able to receive a certain type of reinforcer from the teacher, whatever it is at that time. So let's put this in context of Little Billy in the classroom acting out. So Little Billy's in the classroom acting out and the teacher walks up and gives them, um, not a snap like that, but gives them a timeout ribbon. The teacher now knows that for the next X number of minutes, she's she he is no longer allowed to give Little Billy um, any attention whatsoever. She's on uh, timeout, right? Or in timeout. Timeout from positive reinforcement. The ribbon indicates such. You don't have to remove them from the environment. 